Hi everyone, I'm Mahmoud Vahedi, a master's student at Polytechnic Montreal and today I'm going to be presenting our work which is called Summarizing Relevant Parts from Technical Videos and also known as TechTube with collaboration of Professor Masoud Rahman from Dalhousie University, Professor Foots Home from Polytechnic Montreal, Professor Giasuddin from University of Calgary and Professor Julio Antonio from Polytechnic Montreal. Software developers spend about 20% of their development time to find a solution to their programming problems and they frequently use the online technical videos such as YouTube tutorials as a resource for their needs because of their audiovisual explanation feature. But there are some criticisms to the YouTube tutorial videos. There are a variety of tutorial videos available on YouTube and they are continuously increasing so choosing between these bunch of videos is quite a difficult task. Plus. There are multiple subtopics in each video tutorial depending on the topic being discussed that may or may not relate to the main problems by uh, which developers express in their natural search queries. Audiovisual features of the tutorial videos are their main options for being chosen by developers to address their issues of technical tasks. Thus, uh, this feature makes the duration of the videos much longer, which can be a more time-consuming task to solve the problems, rather than text-only resources such as question and answer threads on a stack overflow. Para et al. employ different approaches of video tagging and classification and attempt to help the developers to determine the re relevance of a, a video tutorial in a short amount of time. The work of uh, McLeod et al. is one of the first few investigated the reason for making video tutorials by the users. By concentrating on the screencasts, they identified that the video tutorials can be complementary resources for the text-based resources. Since the video tutorials benefit from the audiovisual trait, they are useful materials for sharing the knowledge between two developers. At Kaketal present an approach talk miner that relies on OCR to capture keywords from the slides of a webcast. Talk miner provides a critical slides from the webcast using a combination of OCR, text processing and information retrieval methods. Most recently, Ponzanelli and his team focuses on programming video tutorials. They are proposed to identify the relevant fragments of the video tutorials and segment the video tutorials based on the video frame's contents with the corresponding audio transcript. Let's get into the detail of TechTube approach. TechTube does have two different components, offline and online components. The first module of the TechTube offline component is the video audio processor. It identifies the average amplitude of the audio file of the video and points out the lower amplitude points as the silence uh, and uh, create multiple chunks from the video based on these silence parts. Afterwards, we use the speech recognition method to extract the existing speech of the audio chunks for future usage. On the other side, the TechTube has an online component that performs multiple tasks in real time. The first module that takes part in process in, is the input uh, query processor. Uh, since a well-dictated, non-noisy search query leads to gaining more accurate outcome, TechTube uses traditional text normalization method, including stemming, lemmatizing, and stop words removal to overcome this challenge. In the next part, the normalized query takes a transit towards the query formulation engine to make the freeform query rich with uh, some relevant keywords. TechTube uses pseudo-relevance feedback technique by executing the query against the videos in the database to retrieve the most, uh, the uh, actually top most relevant videos against the freeform query. Search engine module is the foundation of the TechTube that carries the burden of retrieving top five, resu uh, uh, top five results or top five most related videos and retrieving the top most relevant audio chunks of those videos. In order to retrieve the top five relevant videos, search engine modules utilizes the Apache Lucene with, uh, which uh, benefits from the powerful text similarity comparison algorithm called as BM25. Furthermore, the search engine module retrieves the top most relevant chunks of each retrieved video by comparing the reformulated query with the speech track of uh, all the chunks 
using the cosine similarity method. And the last executive part of the tech tier is relevant segment highlighter, which uses longest common subsequence method to identify the most relevant fragment of the video. Tech tier calculates the similarity of the segments comparing with the search query and consider all the segments with uh, half of the highest similarity as the target segments. Then it provides with uh, two longest common subsequence as the target LCS and considers the start time uh, of the first LCS and the end time of the second LCS as the start time and end time of the relevant fragment and extract it as the summarized relevant section of the video. During the process of this work, we made five different research questions. First one is how does TechTube perform in retrieving the relevant technical videos against textual queries and identifying the most relevant sections from the videos? How does Apache Lucene perform in retrieving the relevant videos? Is, is its use justified? Is the use of silence-based uh, video splitting justified? Uh, does the query formulation improve the retrieval of relevant video and relevant fragment of a video? And does the uh, TechTube deliver relevant, concise, useful video contents against the developer's queries? Our experimental dataset contains 98 uh, natural language programming related queries that are a combination of Java queries were taken by an existing be benchmark and uh, Python queries which are extracted from top scored uh, question and answer threads of a Stack Overflow. We then download 400 technical videos from YouTube against those queries. Each of these videos should be longer than 3 minutes and also contain English speech track. In addition to the videos, we extract their metadata such as tags, titles and description and also their auto-generated textual narration or in the other word, their subtitles. For more information, please check out our application, uh, replication package. RQ1 discusses about the performance of the TechTube in retrieving uh, relevant videos and relevant video segments. We use 98 queries and BM25 method to retrieve the top 5 relevant results with uh, respect to their textual similarity to the reformulated query. We then compare these videos against our ground truth uh, using heat at K and mean reciprocal rank and mean average precision. We then apply the detective approach on those videos to identify the relevant fragment of each video. In order to evaluate these uh, fragments, we compare their overlapping timestamps against our ground truth using precision recall and FS score performance metrics. As you can see in this table, TechTube 93% of the time can retrieve the most relevant video in the top 5 retrieved results with a mean reciprocal rank of 0.76. So it means that uh, TechTube retrieves the relevant video for 9 queries out of 10 queries and also on average the most relevant uh, video is on the first or second position of the 5 retrieved results. <clears throat> In this figure, uh, you can see that uh, TechTube delivers the relevant fragment of each video with 67% uh, per, uh, precision and 53% recall on average. In summary, TechTube 93% of the time retrieves the relevant videos among the top 5 videos with 76% uh, mean average precision. In order to evaluate performance of TechTube uh, approach, we compare it with one of the uh, most recent approach in tutorial video segmenting, which is uh, code tube. We consider to compare these approaches uh, using different video types containing all of our experimental data set videos, uh, videos only related to Java, videos only related to Python and the videos longer than 15 minutes and shorter than 15 minutes. As it's shown in the table, uh, TechTube provides uh, video segments with 67% precision and 53% recall which uh, outperforms the code tube uh, with higher precision and higher recall. In summary, TechTube outperforms the code tube approach with 60% uh, uh, higher precision and over 200% higher recall. TechTube employs a search engine module in order to return the results much better. In TechTube, uh, firstly, we use an ad hoc search engine that works using cosine similarity method, but after that we suggest using the Apache Lucene by BM25 algorithm. So in order to test these uh, search engines, we examine these two methods in different manners by different performance metrics. In order to retrieve the results, we compare the input query with three different documents. First one was only video tags 
which are provided inside the metadata file so there are just some keywords for that video second one was the subtitles of the videos extracted from youtube and the last one was a combination of those two previous documents this table uh, shows that both uh, search engines at Hawk and Apache Lucene perform well in retrieving the relevant videos in different conditions. If we use only tags as the feeding document, so at Hawk will uh, perform better, whereas in using tag uh, plus subtitles condition, Lucene works better. And in total, Apache Lucene performs slightly better than ad hoc search engine. And in conclusion, Apache Lucene achieves 93% uh, hit at 5 uh, uh, with 76% uh, precision in retrieving the relevant technical videos and outperforms an ad hoc method with 1% uh, higher top 5 accuracy and 1% higher precision. For the research question 3, we try to justify our choice of using a speaker silence as the video splitting mechanism. In this research, we use two different audio splitting methods. First one is silence-based splitting, which creates multiple audio chunks using silence detection method. And second one is the subtitle-based splitting, which use the auto-generated subtitles from YouTube. We compare the retrieved relevant fragments of mentioned the splitting methods against our ground rules to address the RQ3 in the table uh, we can see that. Uh, as it's shown, uh, as, uh, it's shown in this table, uh, the tech tube on average retrieves relevant fragments from the videos with 68% precision using a speaker silence based splitting method. On the contrary, such precision is about 64% with the subtitle based splitting method. In summary, using silence based splitting method, tech tube achieves 7% higher precision, 51% higher recall, and 53% higher F score. On the RQ4, we try to examine the improvement of the tech tube in retrieving relevant videos and relevant video fragments when it uses query formulation methods. So we compare the retrieval results of the baseline query and reformulated query against our ground truths to see if we can benefit from pseudo-relevant feedback method, specifically term frequency method or not. As you can see in this table, both search engines deals with the reformulated query better. And uh, in the best case, uh, the Apache Lucene uh, search engine retrieves the top 5 uh, results 93% of the time with the mean average precision of 76% and the mean reciprocal rank of 0.76. Based on the figure, uh, we can see that the query formulation outperforms the baseline query in various hit at K measure, uh, hit at K, so for example, even on 1, on 3, or on 5. Uh, in total, a query formulation improves the Tech 2 performance in the retrieval of relevant technical videos for 3% higher top 5 accuracy and 5% higher mean average precision. Uh, the query formulation and the baseline query methods on average retrieve the relevant video fragments with similar precision, which is 67%. Uh, however, the query formulation approach provides 53% uh, recall and 50% FS score which uh, outperforms the baseline query with 15% uh, higher recall and 9% higher FS score. To evaluate the effectiveness of TechTube in order to assist developers in real-world document tasks, we conduct a user study uh, involving uh, 16 developers performing 6 different tasks. We then uh, checked the result of those uh, tasks manually and got their feedback on overall experience of using TechTube. As a result of our uh, developer study, we find that all our participants could successfully perform the assigned task where on average it took them 26 minutes to implement each task. And we use a Likert scale of 1 to 10 to capture the participants' response on the follow-up survey that you can see the results in this figure. This figure shows us the, uh, that the developers find the video summary is accurate, precise, concise, and useful for their implementation, task implementation. Sorry. In summary, the user study shows that uh, TechTube can assist the developers effectively in completing the diverse coding and technical tasks. Uh, all in all, uh, in this work we propose a novel approach called TechTube that identifies the relevant sections uh, of a technical video tutorial to a search query and delivers them a summarized coherent video fragment. 
Our future work, work will focus on extending TechTube to check for the effect, uh, efficiency of different query retrieval techniques within the TechTube search engine module and to study how TechTube can complement traditional uh, text-based uh, software documentation resources and creating a useful tool out of this work. Uh, thank you for your attention.